Well, hello there, para peeps, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. Let's talk paranormal live. I am your host, Sean Donnelly. I'm your co-host, Marianne Donnelly. We hope everybody is having a great Saturday afternoon. This is show number 64. Okay. 64. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, well, you don't know. <laughs> You're just a clickbait and a talent. That's right. Yeah, it is August 3rd. That, that means, means I go back to serving my sentence Monday. <laughs> Summer has officially come yes. to an end. Back to work for you. Oh, well, it happens. Every year. <laughs> it happens. So, in case you guys don't know about this show, uh, we do this every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern, no matter where we're at. We have cell phone service, and one of us is not dying. Yeah, pretty much. We have canceled shows in the past uh, because we didn't have cell service, or we were sick <laughs> and dying. But uh, most of the time we do it here in the studio. Um, sometimes we'll do it live from location or whatever. But this is like the anchor show for Panic D videos or what are we called this week? Panic D, Paranormal History, whatever. I know, it, it, we may change our name again. I don't know. This is our haunted travels. That's what our channel is about. But this is the anchor show to kind of tell you what went on and what's going on. And then at the second half of the show, we have a topic that we did discuss. Today's topic is weird news. Weird headlines. And boy, we got some doozies for you. Yeah. Wow. A couple of them I don't think just get... might make some hauntings. Yeah, we might not get through them all, but we can we're do gonna another try. show like this. We're going to try. Up. Yeah, we're going to try. we got a lot. Uh, so that's basically Let's Talk Paranormal. It's our Saturday show. It's really pretty much the only time we go live. It is? Sometimes we go live on Thursdays, but we'll tell you that ahead of time. That's but. right. And that's, those are special events. Those are special, special behind the haunting. That's right. Events. Right? Mm -hmm. So before we get into it, we want to thank our show and channel supporters, which is AJK Consulting, BUB Unique, <laughs> Happy Trails Hiking, Lori Bryant, Mark Co Agency, and Timey lives good boy see brain's working somewhat today <laughs> he got him <sighs> and he even said time his name right i did i did proud of you dear so while those notifications everyone's going out please make sure you say hi in chat because marianne's going to do a roll call and we're going to recognize everybody that's here and say hello i see the chat scrolling by i blurry i'm a little blurry today but i can see it <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> All right, so make sure you say hello in chat so that yes. when Marianne does the uh, roll call, she sees your name. Okay. I'm just going over my list. I actually have a list. I know. He made a list. I made a list. I made a list because I forgot some stuff. We're going to do this today, too. So, you know, you guys, if you've seen our show before, you know we bring on board, share it out, that kind of thing. But while you do that, if you tweet... The hashtag parapeeps will show your picture. You know, take a picture of watching us, watching you, watching us, whatever. And it's like, yeah, we st stole that from Pusha. But we tried that a long time ago. It didn't work out. No, There's nobody this, really did it. Yeah, but hashtag parapeeps. So that's coming up. Try. We'll that try That is it. coming up. We'll, we'll mention it again. All right. So who we are. Are you going to do that? Nope. Like we said, Sean and Mary Ann Donnelly, owners of PanicD.com and DarkShadowGhostTours.com. PanicD.com is a database of over 910. 910. 910, 910 locations across the United States and territories that have paranormal claims. Within that database, we cover the history, any paranormal stories, ghost stories and folklore, the claims, and resources for that. Uh, in 2017, November of 2017, we started a series called Our Haunted Travels, which features, yes, confirmed 300 locations we have been to. I have confirmed that. Yes. 
out of the database. So on our channel each week, we feature a new location that we've been to, but we add to it. We tell you our personal experiences and why we believe that the location could be haunted. That's who we are. That's what our channel's about. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like I said, today's show is going to be weird news topics. So once we finish a little bit more uh, house cleaning here, we're going to get into that. So stick around if you want to catch that. But at this point, would you like to do a roll call and say hello to all of our friendly pair of peeps who are here in chat? Sure. And as I head out to do that, I just posted a link to our coloring book. Yesterday was National Coloring Book Day. So I was posting that our coloring book out uh, yesterday. So I just thought I would drop that again haunted coloring book yes it's all all haunted locations that you were supposed to do another edition i was but you, you were supposed to? to do another edition of our book too so know. you know i know whatever, <laughs> whatever. It is. we'll get to it we'll get to it It'll all right happen. so make sure you say hello and chat marianne's gonna do the roll call all right so i have on the list who's spoken recently we have bottle caps die bullfrog 79 in the Woods with Wolfie, Irish Whiskey Paranormal, Kay Johnston, Lori Bryant, Annette Reagan, Malia and Nathan's Adventures, and... ATGH was here I know ATGH was here and Irish Whiskey, I said. And let's see who else hasn't said anything in a while. They're not kind of showing up there in that list anymore. Uh, maybe that's everybody for now, unless I miss something. All right, so if you pop in, say hello, and yeah. we will we will get absolutely there. Too, so yes. All right. What we got going on in chat? Uh, everyone is saying hello to each saying other. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. And Bottle Cap says he watched a ghost live on CNN. Ooh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I have to go check that out. All right. Okay. What else you got? On All right. Your we got nine in chat. I think it's time we wake up Boris here. All right. Go ahead. And while we're doing this, if you take a, sh a selfie, hashtag parapeeps, you want to put that in the chat? Hashtag parapeeps. You tweet it to hashtag parapeeps. If you uh, tweet this out and put a picture with hashtag parapeeps, we will bring it up and show your picture. So Boris, if you would, please. Thank you, Boris. Appreciate it. So that's going to change. I know Yay. you've been wanting me to change it. It's going to change. I don't know if it'll be changed for next week or not, but I'm going to put on there, you know, take a selfie. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. I'll have to get he Boris dancing new, again. Yeah, he needs a new routine or something. I don't know. A new routine. Are you ready for your eBay update? Sure. All right. Let's see. It's time for Mary Ann's eBay update. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to corral your children in pits because it is time for Marianne's eBay update. All right, another piece for Marianne's haunted crap. This isn't really haunted. Okay, but this isn't haunted. Is this purchased on eBay? It was. Of course it was. Okay. <laughs> so for this one, I need to mention that Annette Reagan, if John is in the room, yeah, he it. needs to hide go away for just a minute because uh, he's getting one of these for his birthday because I got two. I did the government shopping and Sean calls it. So I'm going <laughs> to let you get him out of the way. 
All right. And all right. So what I have is a uh, certified copy of a positive from the Apollo 11 photographs that were taken. Uh, and so I don't know how well you can see it uh, because, you know, it's a film positive. It's not actually a photograph. Put on my shirt, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I need a light behind it. But uh, anyways, so that's what I have today. I got it on eBay, and uh, it's made from the, the film negatives. So it's the positive of the film negative uh, from the Apollo 11 mission. And we just did that series uh, or show a couple weeks ago on uh, the Apollo 11. That's right, Lori. Movement. She is a government shopper. That's right. <laughs> so, anyways, that's well, what I have today. I just buy today. one when you can buy two for twice as much. That's right. But see, then <laughs> you have one to give away as a gift. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, that's what I have. Okay. So, a little bit of an update of what's on our channel. We've got a couple more things, and then we are going to get into our topic. Um, as you guys may have noticed, we didn't put any videos out last week. You did First week put since anything November out? of 2017, no videos all week. I'm surprised my mom didn't yell at you. I'm surprised too. But, okay, I have an excuse. So if you're following us on Facebook, our Facebook page, the Panic D Facebook page, and our Twitter account, you have noticed I have been busy working on the database. Well over 50 locations have been activated. Yeah. So the ones that come out says new location alert, those are places that we've actually been to. So now that those locations are done, what are you doing? Bottle Cap said to put it really close to the camera. Oh. And actually it worked really, really well. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Bottle Caps. Okay, um, go ahead. So when we go to do those locations, make the videos about them, that's one less step I gotta do. So we're kind of caught up head a little okay. bit. Okay. Uh, but you still have like 100 left. I have 73 <laughs> left. Okay. 73. Yes. And I'm not going to get to them by the time I go back to work. So I'm going to have to figure out some way to make videos and work on locations and uh, yeah. So that's why we didn't have videos last week. Now we've talked about this. We probably should have some videos coming up next week. Don't know what location yet. But Keep an eye out. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we should have some videos coming up. I know it's summertime. Everyone's outside. They don't want to watch videos. Exactly. You know. Everybody's on vacation. When it gets cold out, they'll yeah. want to watch them, and they'll be like, oh, yeah. I missed that one. I'll have to watch it. All right. So that's what's going on on our channel. Oh, I got some more stuff. I just looked. I don't see any selfies, so we might have to skip what? that section. I don't see any on Twitter. Oh, oh, take that back. Oh. We got one. Let's see. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. It looks like uh, Irish whiskey's new mode of transportation. Dead cart. Okay, let me uh, switch over to that screen. Uh, that's the one I want. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's this. Click that. There we go. Irish whiskey paranormal. I sent this one. Dead cart. It says dead cart. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Poor dead cart. Did you do an EVP session by it? <laughs> the question is, is he going to use that to ride around at locations? That would be cool. I would love one of those at work. I want a segue. I know. You, you told the school that a few years back. <laughs> All right, so our next section, the whole show is going to be out about this, called In the News, but we're going to do a whole show. So I'm going to skip so we're that, and we're going to go now. to community news. And I'm going to do something. Those who are creators um, or would like something said during this section next week, watch our um, social media, okay, whether it's the Facebook group, which Marianne's going to drop the link here in a little bit, or on Twitter or something. I'm going to post something out like, you know, what do you got going on or something. And then if you reply back to that and post back to it, um, I'll mention on the show what you got going on on your channel. So we'll call that like a community news thing. I might have to say that a couple shows to kind of get people involved, but uh, it's going to save me time because I can just go and 
mention that instead of going and finding community news. You know, I want to have little segments on this. This is supposed to be like a show. And, um, you know, less work for me. But anyways, number one, Happy Trails Hiking's back live. Yes, they are. Every day, Monday through uh, Friday, Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, 11 a.m. That's our time. Eastern Standard Time. 10 a.m. Central. 10 a.m. Central. So pretty exciting in the lineup that she's got there. We've talked to her offline. Lori's here. Um, Mm Mm-hmm. Case sister and uh yeah that's going to be pretty good they get um she's got motivational speakers coming all kinds of stuff travel tuesday food friday and she's still having workout wednesday workout wednesday and throwback thursday yeah so that's pretty exciting happy trails hiking mm-hmm. uh thanks for dropping the link to her channel <laughs> All right, uh, we were contacted today by a, what's the name of that group? I put it in the... I have uh, no idea. Did you put it on the links page? Yes, I I did. did. Um, By a group on Facebook, one of the admins on the group on Facebook. And uh, it's actually down at the bottom of that list. I want to see the name of it. No, that one. Haunting the Paranormal in the... Uh, unexplained so this morning when I went and uh, was getting my coffee I was checking the messages and things like that I got contacted from them to check out their uh, Facebook group over 60,000 members in that group right there and there's a lot of cool stuff if you're in the paranormal and want to follow that kind of stuff check out that group uh, I was talking back and forth while I was setting up the show uh, with one of the administrators and um, we maybe posting our videos in there i posted the interview with jeff mudget in there uh earlier so actually it's a pretty cool group and it's growing fast so you know if you're into that kind of stuff check it out yeah over sixty thousand in that in that group um twitter okay uh i noticed some people in message groups on twitter that they were having issues with the update of the Twitter app, not seeing links and stuff like that. Just a little tip. Um, I normally copy our tweet that I put out about a video or a link and post that instead of the link to the YouTube video in case they're not showing up. I updated my phone. It's not seeing the video links. People were complaining not seeing the YouTube video links. I thought that was only. I think I thought that was only iPhone people, though. I don't know. I don't know. But if you copy your tweet and post that in the messages, that will work. So I checked that out earlier. That's what I wanted to mention. All right. Okay. Inspired John, uh, Yankee, and Budget did survive their weekend trip. (laughs) They had some very interesting stuff going on. Tornado hit. All kinds of stuff. They were eating bugs. Eating bugs and swimming in the. Yeah, Water. we were we were following along when they did go live on the. There was one night when all three of them were live at the same time, and it was like, whoa. It was creepy. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah but they did survive. It's only iPhone people. It's only iPhone. Okay, so mm-hmm. iPhone and iPad, probably that app. I hope they fix it because that's kind of annoying. Um, and the last thing about community news that I want to talk about, grab that link on the end of that tonight at 8 p.m eastern time community spotlight is going to be doing a live stream and the topic kind of hits home with panning d videos i don't know because we have some stuff going on later where we're going to be able to catch the live stream i'd like to if not i'm going to catch the playback but um he's going to be talking about (sighs) censorship on youtube and you know i I've, i've been mentioning this to you guys that a lot of our videos are getting demonetized. I know of some big paranormal channels that lost their whole channel as far as monetization. And the topic is, you know, when that happens, that just means that your content is not advertiser friendly. Okay. But is that a form of censorship or whatever? That's what the topic of that show is going to be, which is kind of interesting. And I wanted to bring that up in the community news. So that's community news. And next week, if you guys have some stuff, then. 
All right, sounds excellent. We I also have on the show. a couple of new people who've joined in, so I want to say hello. So we've got Sword of Rican Showcasting, who is in here now, and Ray the Fam is here, and Hellfire. So I wanted to say hello to you guys, and welcome to the stream. All right, hello, hello, hello. All right, are you uh, ready? I got to switch some things out. I'm good to go. So let me hit this. And I will check back later to see if there's any more. Hashtag pair of peeps. Take a picture and tweet it out with hashtag pair of peeps when you tweet out this stream and we will show the pictures live. All right, so. We're going to have a, a segment on the show going on about weird news. Which but we had we had uh, some before. Right. We did. And um, But as we were going through this and putting this together, we found a ton of them. So I said, well, let's just do a whole show about it. And, um, yeah, it's kind of, we might do these, like, updates, like, later on. That's why I called the title of this Volume 1. In case we do a volume two later but uh all right are you ready with some of these are you guys ready in chat are you ready for the topic I'm good to go. for us to get started if you are please say yes in chat and we will get rocking and rolling marianne says she's ready that's right uh let's see <laughs> ray the fam says yes Lori bryant says yes all right. We got a couple of yeses, so I think we are ready. What is that? Right. Do you want the latest update? Not right no. now. <laughs> no, we really don't. <laughs> so that's what keeps it in. I'm going to have to come in here and do that. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go with our first one. Bottle Calf says maybe. Maybe. You know, okay. this one is a maybe. You might not be ready for this one, Bottle Caps. <laughs> So if you are watching these, as we ask questions of chat, if you're watching this on a replay, just answer the questions down below in the comment section. Um, but uh, here we go with number one. Study says 28% of delivery drivers taste their customers' food. Yeah, so all those delivery drivers that you have, you know, bring food to your house for takeout, whether it's, you know, those uh, apps or the locations themselves, whatever, 28% of them say that they've actually tasted your food. Yeah. They had 500 delivery drivers that they had interviewed, and 140 of them said, yeah, I've sampled it. Yeah. Out of, okay, so the <laughs> survey was conducted of uh, 1,500 American adults uh, who said they have uh, delivery food apps on their phone, which we do. We've used that while we were while traveling. While we were traveling, yeah. Um, now I'm kind of like, uh-huh, wait a minute. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Well, we're just going to taste this. I think it said in here, did those, did those fries actually come loose in the bag? Or did <laughs> yeah, they try it says that out? in the article, yeah. All right, so the question is, has anybody out there ordered food to have it delivered? And now are you concerned whether <laughs> the driver is going to taste it? I guess it would be if it smells really good and they're really hungry. <laughs> Has anybody used uh, food apps and have food delivered before? And did it look like somebody had taste tested first? <laughs> I don't know. I I guess it would be kind of easy if it was like a pasta or something, right? Because, you know, there's not... I mean, you could kind of swish that around maybe a little better. I mean, I think people would know if they ate your pizza or something. Tommy's here. Hello, Tommy. <laughs> Hello, Tommy. The puppy's playing. Timey, by the way, got a new puppy. Trixie. Oh, why didn't you mention that during community news? I didn't think of it. <sighs> Marianne has a not. tendency to like go off on her own and she gets all this <laughs> stuff. She watches your guys' videos. Does she leave a comment? No. Not usually. <laughs> she goes, did you see this? Did you hear about this? Did you see that? I was looking at something today. Colorado Martini posted a video about a hearse. I didn't get a Hearst chance to con. watch it because I was working on a thing. She goes, oh, yeah. Yeah. She said, like, She's thanks for telling me. One. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I don't know why. I thought you got all the little 
notifications. No. <laughs> See, you know there you go wrong. again with YouTube notifications. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So anybody order food? Somebody said, I don't order food. And that's it. Tommy May. Did you catch that that one, Tommy? What was it? 28%. 28% of delivery oh, she's drivers. Out playing with Pumpy. Yeah. 28% delivery drivers have tasted your food. I just think it's kind of creepy and gross. So Bottle Cap says, I used to deliver patients to the hospital, but I never tasted or smelt a few. I hope you didn't taste the patients. I hope you didn't taste the patients, too. <laughs> Lori says, I've ordered food delivered before. It was a sandwich or something. Did it have a bite out of it? <laughs> this is supposed to come with a pickle. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, Irish Whiskey says, comments are even more important than watching the complete video for creators. Yeah, Thanks, Millie and Marianne. <laughs> yeah. You at least hit the like button. Uh, most of the time. <laughs> I'm terrible YouTube Irish Whiskey, person. she's not a YouTuber. No, she's I'm the really clickbait not. and the talent. I keep telling you guys this. If something happened to me... If something happened to me, oh, you would never down. You'd see never hear from us again. a new video from us because no. she don't know how to do any of this no. stuff. You know how to do Facebook, so at least you could tell them something yeah, happened to me. Yeah, there you go. I'll tell the Parrot Peeps group. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, parrot gracious. Peeps are gone because I, I lost my button clicker. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, okay. They stopped the minute I filmed. The puppies. She's talking oh, about the puppies. the puppies. Okay, I thought yeah. you meant the people eating her food. No. <laughs> okay. That would be fun, though. She filming, you know, them eating her food. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Ready? Sure. All right. Grasshoppers take Vegas by swarm, disrupting weather waiter. Now, the thumbnail for this was actually the weather radar of those grasshoppers. You know, our thumbnails are kind of like, eh, whatever. But there are meaning behind our thumbnails. <laughs> there's reasons why I use them. And I yeah. get told that all the time. It's your thumbnails. That's what the problem is. Well, there's meaning behind them. So that picture, that image is actually the swarm of... Gotcha. Yeah, I, I saw a couple of pictures uh, of that. It you was heard this pretty... one from Jeff. Too, yeah, Jeff you? Mudgett actually posted this while it was happening. Um and he's like, it's the hottest days of the year, and we're, you know, covered with these things, you know, and they're everywhere. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. It was crazy. Crazy. Swarming grasshoppers. Now, I remember when I was a little kid, we went on vacation, and we came out the next morning from our hotel room, and the whole wall and all of the cars were covered with, like, crickets or something. Maybe it was these same type of grasshoppers it wasn't out west though um but i remember it and it was like the grossest thing it was like oh my gosh they're everywhere <clears throat> so I Lori can only says imagine. It's, it's odd because it's vegas swarms of grasshoppers happen often but usually in other places do they happen to the point where they affect the weather radar <laughs> yeah so that's that's yeah. kind of well jeff said too that they were <clears throat> very attracted by all the lights on the strip hmm. he said that they were just really attacking over there so wow. yeah really really yeah, that's crazy. yeah she, Lori says it's only a national headline because it's vegas but um if you saw any of the pictures from there it it was like way worse than that one when i was a kid and i thought the one when i was a kid was crazy so well gee if you would have shared some of those pictures we could have showed them i don't yeah no i didn't <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this one here, you know about this one. So yeah, this I do one know about this be one. Kind of interesting. All right, so uh, do we have a question about the swarming? A question about the swarming? I keep clicking a button and nothing happens. So hopefully, I didn't stop the stream. <laughs> no, not. <really. laughs> We're still Ghost, live, right? Go, yeah. Ghost Mafia uh, has joined us, and he says that, like in the Bible, the end is near. Repent while you still That's right. can. It's Armageddon. <laughs> it's one of the seven signs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, Sorta Rican Showcasting says Jeff Mudgett is interesting, and yes, I agree. Uh, I enjoy spending 
time talking with him. Uh, in the woods with Wolfie says he's on the phone for not even five minutes and the chat fills right up. <laughs> so that's awesome. All right. So are you ready for the next one? Yeah, but I didn't ask a question about oh. that one. So, uh, yeah, we can go on the next one. Okay. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> and Kay's not here, but I wish she was. So she's probably going to catch us in the playback. But St. Louis man finds baby's body in box in mother's freezer. Yeah, so apparently <laughs> when he was growing up as a kid, he remembers this box still I'm being in there. I'm not going to play the video. He remembered it being in there from the time he was like oh, there's, eight. There's a picture of the And And uh, apparently it's his maybe baby sister who died. Uh, the mother said something to the effect that she had a daughter, I think it was Jennifer, who died. And he was never allowed to open that box in the freezer. It was supposedly a cake uh, that they weren't ever allowed to eat. And after she died, apparently, he's cleaned out the freezer and uh, found out that it was none other than a baby's body. So they think it might be his little sister, Jennifer. Kay knows about that one because we were discussing the thumbnail and for the stream now that yeah. I think about it. Yes, and she's from You St. can imagine Lewis. the sick thoughts going through my mind. <laughs> uh, Lori says, I Ooh, good. I saw that. It's so weird. My author friend called dibs on using that in a book. <laughs> mm. I just, I can't imagine that, you know, as a kid, he never was tempted to go in that well, you box. Know, though, there's so many different stories and so many things that, that, we've read and investigated it's similar to that like keeping that yeah but remains. you tell a kid that there's a cake in the freezer he's not ever allowed to touch i'm sorry he's going in that box how did he never do that growing I up he <laughs> i mean I he know. must have been a really good kid i don't know what do you guys think <laughs> if you were told there's a cake in the freezer and you're not allowed to touch it so uh Marad's Haunted Adventures. Hello, hello. Um, Bottle Cap says that's actually against the law. Well, I, I hope. Um, yeah. Body was in there for. See, Lori says the body was in there for over forty years. Yeah. So they it had to change freezers. There's no way a freezer is going to last forty years. I mean, old freezers lasted I'll, I'll take for a care. long time. Didn't you say they moved too? <laughs> I don't remember. I think you said when I mentioned that when I read that. Okay. I think you said and they moved. Okay, I don't so, remember. Uh, that I'll part. I'll get the cake topper. You get everything else. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, <laughs> Bottle cap says, "Just tell the kid it's a box of liver." Now that, on the other hand, I can go with. I can say I wouldn't have opened that either. I've never been a big fan of liver, but uh, I, I just can't imagine you telling somebody there's a cake in there and there and for 40 years you don't eat the cake. Oh, now this one's going to have a bunch of ads on it. So let me see if I can close these ads. Oh, I don't know. T Timey says that's horrifying. And Sorta Rican Showcasting says sometimes it's a bad PTSD issue. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. And there's been, like, there's been other stories that I've read about where this has happened. Like mothers have, you know, or fathers oh, yeah. have kept it and it's caused issues yeah I, even in my my fake crime scenes in my classroom in the barn and stuff like that yeah, yeah in my in my fake crime scene in my classroom every other year uh i do one where there's a couple and they have this house and they're doing remodeling and they find this little hole in the wall that has this box in it and it's got you know remains of a baby in it and they have to figure out whose baby it is that kind of thing but um but this is just like seriously they were told it was a cake <laughs> i would have eaten that cake by then all right, I'm ready. You ready for the next one? You know this one too, right? Uh, which? Oh yeah, this one's fun. <laughs> All right, so if you're worried about alien abduction, you can actually get insurance. Yes, you can. And it is going to offer up to ten million dollars in payout. There are a few catches, though. You know, but six thousand people have have actually purchased this. It's in Florida, so if you want this, you'll have to contact the guy in Florida. But um, 6,000 people have purchased it, and you can get it by two different rates. Uh, it's $24.99 or $24.95, something like that, if they send you a certificate. If you just do a digital version and you print your own certificate, it's only like $19.99. So, you know, 
Save Are we going to do this? Are we going to do this? <laughs> I, I, I want the certificate to hang it up on the wall <laughs> um, in my office. So, oh, nice, nice. <laughs> the, there's a couple catches, though, as I mentioned. Uh, you have to have, like, solid proof uh, that, that this happened, including uh, a signature from one of the... Uh, alien higher-ups that says, yeah, we took you, or whatever. Um, and also, you're only going to get $1 a year for 10, 10 million thousand. years. Yeah, 10 million years. <laughs> so, and they are paying out on it. They are paying out on one of them. On one of the claims. Uh, they paid out for 10 years already on it, but now they say they've lost track of the person, so they must have moved and not like forwarded an address, so they aren't getting their dollar this year, apparently. <sighs> Uh, but they are looking into a second case uh, to see if maybe they'll have to start paying out another. <laughs> it is supposed to be uh, sarcastic. He says that, you know, when, when somebody tries to get it, he does kind of talk to them and see whether or not they're like, you know, having fun with it, that kind of thing. He says it's for fun, <laughs> especially since you're only going to get a dollar a year. But they do have, uh, I guess, something like if you're family or relatives or something is making fun of you about your abduction they'll like you know pay for something for you it's it's creepy crazy and weird i want to do it <laughs> oh. i want to do it i want to get i want to get alien abduction insurance what do you guys think should we do it it could be one of marianne's ebay updates <laughs> show you the certificate what do you think should we do it why not i don't know Let's see here. Uh, Lori says, sarcasm coverage. Yes, it's when your family and relatives, you know. Oh, I almost forgot. They're also um, adding like a rider or oh, something. Oh, wait, there's for, more. For the Area 51 event. <laughs> like if you Is don't there? come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, if somebody, like if the aliens get you on the Area 51 attack day, he's added some things for that too. I almost forgot that. <laughs> Did you read this one? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So Timey says, I would have peeked at the cake and the puppies are hyper. <laughs> and Lori says, you should do it, Sean. You should get that alien insurance. I think I'm going to. Just to say I did. I have. <laughs> What's that commercial? You know, you know, commercial. But the good news is I've saved. <laughs> I've saved some money on my car insurance. I would say, but the good news is I have alien abduction insurance. <laughs> I'm well covered. We should ask our Mark. Yes, I was going to say we should ask our uh, Parapeep, who is one of our supporters and is our insurance agent. We should ask him. Do you have alien? Do you have alien abduction you insurance alien that abduction we can purchase? Insurance? <laughs> I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him up because I know he doesn't watch our videos. Yeah. I'm going to call him up and say, hey, man, I'm changing <laughs> companies because this other company has alien, alien abduction. abduction. Now, can you match it? <laughs> so if you can, I'll stay with you. <laughs> Be dead serious and see what he says. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny right there. It is. Um, Nobody's laughing. I think it's hilarious. I'm I sorry. I think it's funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, w I, I woke up to that a couple days ago, and when he woke up, when Sean woke up, I told him about it, and he's like, oh, we got to talk about that one. And that's actually what made us do this event today. Yeah, yeah I'm like, okay, we got to do weird. Which, by the way, station identification, if you're just joining us, we are covering <laughs> weird news headlines. Um, this is eventually just going to be a smaller segment with a couple of them on our show, but the entire show, we're, we're, we're covering some of these that we found, so... Yeah. So Lori wants to know if it pays out to me if you don't come back from the abduction. And uh maybe. Maybe. I didn't I haven't read the whole policy. A dollar <laughs> a year, so you'll have that going for you. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely have that going for me. We can't bring up the topic of insurance because I'm more more not here <laughs> than here. <laughs> She's well taken care of. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, what, <sighs> Bob Dip wants to know if the insurance pays if you haven't been probed, and yes, is you there just a probing have, rider? <laughs> I, I don't know, but you have to have a. I know you have to have a photograph. Was there a phone you have number where I could call this guy <laughs> before I before I get it to ask these questions? I'm going to say Bob Dip wants to know. <laughs> That's right. 
before I do this, is there a probing rider? We need to know for sure. <laughs> and if not, is that extra? <laughs> and how much would that be? <sighs> oh, all I need, right. <laughs> I need coffee. I'm getting punchy. All right. Next one. Next one. Yeah. Okay, so now we go from this joking around to... To the rah, morbid rah, rah. again. We've got to get back to morbid because yeah. that's just how we roll around here. Yeah. Got to be sick and disgusting. <laughs> All right. Next one. Go ahead. The Mysterious Bridge. And Timey's talking about her new puppies. I know. This is don't not let, appropriate. Timey, Timey, don't let your muffs, puppies watch this. Earmuffs, Timey. The Mysterious Bridge where dogs go to kill themselves. Earmuffs. Yeah, so apparently there are a ton of dogs that go to this bridge and jump off it to their deaths. Like, a lot of them. Like, 60 in one year. What? Yeah, there's over 500 that have also done it and lived. This is so in they Scotland. Tried. Is Desmond here? Uh, I haven't seen Desmond. I'm going to have to tweet him and ask him if he's heard about this. Yeah, it's... It's crazy. There's like a ton of them. Uh, Lori says, oh no, that's in England, right? Yes. It's, it's in so, Scotland. It says so West... over there, across the pond. I can't read that. Dun... Dunbartonshire. West Dunbartonshire, Scotland. Yeah. And uh, so anyhow, there's just a, a, a ton of them that have been doing this. And like I said, there there's over 500 that have jumped and lived too. So there's a ton of them that have jumped and died, but there's a ton of them that jumped and lived too. So what's making them all jump off of this bridge? Something down there. Yeah, something creepy crazy. So I just thought that one was really weird. Well, that's what this is, yeah. weird news. Yeah, I mean, the last one was hilarious. This one's just really weird, you know? I don't know. Uh, so, <laughs> Timey says, I gave them headphones and raised the volume. Good. <laughs> and uh, she says that uh, David is on a donder, so he is not around right this second. Okay. I'll have to tweet him. And I'll have to tweet that to him. Yeah, Bottle him. Cop says, uh, weird stuff goes on in Scotland. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Okay. Here we go. Next one. This one here, there's a guy. Well, read the headline. It's called Spanish Man Builds 50 Foot 60. 60 Foot Spaceship to Visit Planet from His Novels. So apparently, there's this guy, and in his backyard, he built this giant spaceship. And he claims that it, well, it's not ready to fly yet because our technology is not correct yet. It's not ready to go. That we just don't have the ability to know how to make it fly yet. And where is he trying to get this thing to fly to? He's trying to get to it to fly to a planet that he made up in his books. He's a novelist. And he thinks that he's going to fly this spaceship to, you know, where his we shouldn't planet laugh, is. But come on. It, the planet has a name. It's called 10 slash 7. <laughs> and he thinks that someday that his spaceship will fly to 10 slash 7. Be interesting if it does. It would be interesting since he made up the planet. He made it up. And he's, I don't know, he thinks that he's going to fly it there. Okay. Yeah. I just thought that we'll one have also to was that like, see. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bottle Cap says, they stand out on the road and wait for the car to take them out. <laughs> And uh, Tiny Oh, he's lives. talking about the deer. Do you read ahead? He said the deer. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, the deer. Yes. Okay, got it. Okay. Deer on my island commit suicide. Yes. Uh, and Tiny says, that's so imaginative. 10 slash 7. I forget what the 10 is for, but the 7 is supposed to be the 7 facets of humanity or life or something like that, too. So, like, he has, like, a whole reason behind the name of the planet and everything. Yeah. Why is this weird? Just because that's weird. Okay, because it's just weird. This yeah. is just weird. This is just weird. Will Are there be traveler's insurance it? to tell? <laughs> <laughs> we can ask the guy in Florida if he will put a rider on. <laughs> and you know what? I bet you it could work with the alien abduction insurance because he would be going to an alien land, and if they take him there, I mean, it could... Could work. It's a million dollar idea right there. 
Oh, All right, here we go. All right, this one is just weird because it's like, seriously? Uh, apology after Japanese train departs 20 seconds early. It was supposedly it left 25 seconds early, so I don't know why the title says 20 seconds, but uh, it left 25 seconds early, and they apologized to everyone for having that happen. They're like, uh, they just weren't looking at the timetables. We apologized. <laughs> Well, did people miss the train? Uh, apparently, only one person complained about it, and so they're like, you know, other people, not the company, the train company apologized prophetically, but the other people are like, if you can't make yourself there within 25 seconds of when it's supposed to leave, you just deserve yeah, not to that's get That's not on the as train. funny as the other one. No, but I thought weird. it was weird that they would that actually weird. take time to apologize for that. Okay. That's what I thought was weird about it. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Timey says they're just extremely polite. And Lori says people might have missed their train. Okay. Now, the, here, re, you got a chance to redeem yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I just read the headline. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. All right, So go ahead. this one is woman boards flight and finds her seat assignment is in the, lo in the bathroom. Yeah. That would make me upset. So apparently, she was not the only one either. Uh, there was an entire row <laughs> that was assigned to the lab because they changed planes and the plane had, had less one rows. less row than the original flight planned plane. And so their, theirs was assigned to the bathroom. Yeah, that would be a problem. Does it say how they fixed it? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, right here. Luckily, closer to the front of the plane, it did not have to take a different flight. Okay, so they had must have had some extra seats on the plate. I didn't read well, the she's lucky sentence cause, there, uh, but a lot of flights that we take. Sorry, we're full. Sorry, yeah, Can't they're looking for people. On. They're and they're looking for people to like give up their seats. Oftentimes, but <laughs> wow. Uh, Lori says they would need to clean it better. <laughs> Chris Mohan, hello from Progressive Field. Hello. Wow. He's just Pretty got cool. back from a trip, too, I believe. Okay, where am I at? Timey had a thing about our trip to 10-7 also said that we the alien abduction insurance probably wouldn't work because you weren't abducted. You were volunteered to go there. Okay. Well, see, that's how they'll get out of paying you dollar, dollar a year. year. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so uh, how are we doing on time? Well, we got 10 minutes. Let's see if we could get to 10. To 10. This is number 8. All right. Okay. We uh, have 25 of them, but we're not going to do all 25. Oh, wait. You did, we did that, that one. one. This that is one, don't, nine. Yeah, don't do that one. That's kind of boring. If we're going to waste time. Well, it's on the list. I know, but it's not that fun. All right. What about this one? Eh, okay. It's all right. This one here is like, you re you remember that movie? <laughs> well, wait till it loads. Okay. Do you remember that movie yeah. that uh, was really stupid that you made me watch? Dude, where's my car? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Apparently, there was a kid who went to a concert, and he forgot where he left his car. So he came home. His parents were kind of pissed at him, you know. <laughs> but the title of this says how they fixed it. Dude, where's my car? Craigslist helps New York teen find his lost car in Toronto. So, so he posted it on Craigslist. His parents posted it on Craigslist. <laughs> And it got massive hype. Everybody apparently was, you know, looking and looking at it, thinking how funny it was. And they found it. They Somebody found the car. actually found it on, and they posted, you know, yeah, we found, we know where your car is. He was reunited with his car because of a Craigslist post. I thought that was just kind of see. He didn't have the alien abduction insurance. No, he didn't. All right. How did he get home? He actually went home by a cab, and his parents thought it was really weird when he rolled up in a cab when he left in his car, and they're like, "Where's your car?" And he's like, "Dude, I don't know. I can't. I couldn't remember where I left it." Let's skip to this one. Okay. 
this one is all you. Oh, well, really? I didn't read it. No, I mean, it's not all you, Let's but... Let's see if we get off. Go ahead, talk about chat, and I'll read it right here real quick. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Uh, Bottle Cap says, typical for an Eastern Canadian. Well, he was apparently from New York. He was just at a concert in Toronto. <laughs> so, yeah. he he. We have to claim him here in the United States. He was a New York teen. Uh, uh, Bob Dip says, finally a good Craigslist post. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Next one. I guess this one's on me. But basically, man eats underwear to beat breathalyzer. So here's the actual news article right there. <laughs> okay. So basically, <laughs> he's sitting in the back of the police car and rips a piece of his underwear and shoves it in his mouth, thinking the cotton is going to absor absorb the alcohol. Yeah. The best part is that it was the crotch part of his underwear, <laughs> and he thought it tasted disgusting, so he actually spit it out. <laughs> yeah. True story. Oh, my goodness. Lori says, it looks like Inspired John with a mustache. <laughs> Holy cow, it does. It does. Oh, my goodness, it does. It <gasps> Inspired John is undercover. <laughs> He's really the breathalyzer underwear eater. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's a big on him. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man. Bottle well, Cat says, the... excuse me, I'm going to puke my guts up now. <laughs> here's the funny thing, okay? So he did this, but he ended up getting off anyways because he blew .08, which is the legal limit. Yeah. <laughs> so he was acquitted of the charges, but this came up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, can't get much weirder than that. Uh, maybe we can. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. How many was that? How many more we got? One more? Well, I'm going to do number 26, whether or not you right, do we'll, any we'll others. Do That's going to be the last thing I want to talk about today. All right. We've so, got about eight minutes. All right. So, so do another one. I'll do another one. Okay. Uh, oh, I want to do the that one about the. Oh, we'll do a couple more. Okay. Here, you want to talk about this one? This one was yours. I'm sorry, I was reading this, chat. This one was yours. Uh, okay. Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Surgeon removes more than 500 teeth from a boy in India. Yeah. So that's a lot of teeth. Yeah. Apparently. Uh, he was complaining of his his face hurting, his jaw hurting, and uh, they went and they took him to the doctor. They took out this sack that was growing in his jaw, and it had 500 teeth in it, ranging anywhere from one millimeter to, I believe it was one and a half centimeters uh, in size. There were 500 of them, little teeth. They they said that they had all of the the you know, parts of a tooth. They had the enamel, they had the, you know, dentin. They were all full full teeth, but they were just really small. And there were a lot of them. He was in the hospital for three days um, and he was released and they're holding his name. So they're not letting that out. This kid was only seven. They say that this happens. I mean, people get, have extra teeth in their mouth and things like that. And sometimes they'll find extra teeth in a, in a patch and remove them from people. But they're usually in their like twenties and thirties but this kid was only seven and had 500 of them in this mass in his jaw. Poor little kid. Yeah, they were they were yeah, they, they were, were growing, growing in, a, in, a in a sack in his in yeah. his jaw. Yeah, it was definitely a deformity. Of Bob Dip says, "Was Daddy Jaws? I know, right? Mm. Uh, all those teeth that they have in all those layers in sharks." So speaking of teeth, here's another one. <laughs> This one is more a new you, fad, but I've I've heard this fad before. But yeah, I have too, but not the teeth. I have heard the teeth. Have you heard of the yeah. teeth? Yeah. All right, so people are having jewelry made out of loved ones who've passed, 
their teeth, bones, hair. We've heard of hair for hair, years. Heard of, yeah, that's a Victorian. Um, it goes back to yeah. the Victorian age. Right. But, teeth. Um, but I've heard of the teeth rings. I've heard of those before. I haven't heard of them as pendants and things like that, like this article was talking about, too. But, um, yeah, it, it they when, it, when I first saw it a couple years mm-hmm. ago, I saw somebody come out with something like this. And... Um, they were talking about, you know, the real tooth fairy. <laughs> you know, they would come steal your teeth and yeah. But apparently they're doing this from their loved ones. And Lori says, Nope, nope, not gonna do it. <laughs> Timey says, Ew. <laughs> uh Bob Diff says, I posted that one as a joke for Halloween. Uh I would not take it from my person that was dead. I, but I would think, like, if I was a, a mother and my kid lost their teeth, I might be willing to, you know, steal a few away from the tooth fairy. So. All right. And our last one for today, because we are running out of time. You wanted to do this one? I did. Last. Yes. All right. Here we go. So this one here is not um, really weird, weird, but it's weird because it's secretive. Um, as many of you know, I'm a big Lizzie Borden fan. Uh, no. Anything Lizzie Borden. And tomorrow, remember, is the anniversary, the 127th anniversary of the murders uh, at 92 Second Street. Um, but this article is... Don't shake your head no, like that. No, go ahead. <laughs> this article is uh, one that came out um, that says that there's a author uh, that believes that they have found some new evidence and they figured out the identity of the person who was seen, the unknown per- man that was seen at the property a couple of days before uh, the murders. So we should do they a video are, on that. They are planning, she is planning on uh, revealing this information uh, and um, she is also going to be on a new show. Um, if you scroll down, I forget the name of the show. There's a, a show on TV where they go and they look up all these, like, uh, go scroll, 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 scroll. Uh, there it is. Mysteries Decoded. Um, and they go to, you know, look at all these other, you know, weird things that they haven't been able to figure out over the years. And um, it is supposed to be on uh, one of the... Ar- first ones tuesday august 13th now if you go online and you look this up um the the first episode is supposed to be about mothman but this article says that the lizzie case is going to be in that first episode as well so it we might have to do a video about that update our lizzie collection yeah so i'm very interested in finding out what her new evidence is and who she thinks this person is she like me has read all the documents and transcripts and everything but she's read everything she said three times and so by reading it three times she said she was able to find uh out some things that people missed interesting yeah very interesting so anyways i thought i'd bring that up since tomorrow is the anniversary date and this is new coming up and they're gonna have a show out coming up in you know a couple weeks so i need you to do something a little side note when we're done here if you go through that document and color code the ones we did so we don't do them again gotcha yes since i skipped around i was going in numerical order you were and then we kind of yeah so we're running short on time and you wanted to uh we're running short on time. Short, short net. Anyways, that is going to wrap up the weird news for this episode. So which one was your favorite? Yeah, which one was your favorite? Let us know in chat. Uh, Timey's having trouble with electronics. Um, Bob Dip said ba- baby teeth. Maybe they might, they might do that one. Uh, and Lori said that's fascinating. I think that was that there's new evidence. And someone, I can't remember who it was, said that they did post a new selfie. So if you want to grab those while we are waiting on their yep. uh, responses. Lori says her favorite is the alien abduction insurance. Timey says the insurance. Yeah, that one was pretty good. Yeah, that one is pretty, pretty good. But there's 6,000 people who already had it. That's crazy. 
and the, and the fact that he's already paying out for 10 years on <laughs> one of them it's crazy oh there's timey's new baby puppy can we show your puppies timey she put parapeeps oh yeah she put parapeeps so yeah. i guess that's so that's a, like a it. do all right let me go back to the screen so nobody else is telling us what their favorite one was um so i'm gonna holy guess that cow we got another one what wow we got another one from uh irish whiskey oh my jeez oh man it says i almost died in this photo look at that temperature wow that is warm that is toasty that is toasty Yikes. Wait, now, how's the humidity there? I hope it's low. That's just... Because uh, that's... Oh, 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 there's sound. I don't want sound. I don't want sound. Click on the little sound thingy. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Uh, okay. Let's see, if I click on this, is it going to give me sound? No, you're I'm good. I'm going to go bigger. All right. I'm uh, not going bigger. Okay. Oh, I could do that. Well, you're, you're there, we go. there we go. All right, so this one is from Tiny, Tiny. Lives. The little guy mm -hmm. there is Trixie. The little puppy. tiny puppy. Tiny puppy. It was so cute. Yes, yesterday? I think it was yesterday morning. She was holding it uh, during her live stream in the morning, and it was just like its little paws, and it would stretch every now and again. Just like a little baby paw. It's so cute. Uh... She says that's Tucker and Trixie. So Tucker and Trixie. I knew Trixie was the new new baby. Alright, how do I so get it? Tucker's on that now? The, the big there we go. brother. Alright. So excellent. And I think Irish Whiskey was the one who said that they sent another. Uh Timey says she's gonna be huge. Man, a hundred and that's all almost a hundred and twenty. Yeah. Dang, that's, that's hot. Crazy. Well, hydrate. Plenty of water, man. Yeah. Plenty of water. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Crater Spotlight Show. Again, they're going live at 8 p.m. tonight. Marianne dropped the link just now. He just stopped in to say hi. Make sure you check that out because that subject kind of hits us. Hits us kind of close. Um, I'm going to try to make that live stream if we can. We do have some things we got to take care of since I'm going back to work Monday. Uh, but uh, talking about, um, you know, is are we being censored all because of ads? You know, if I had the following, I would just like completely go off of YouTube and just post videos on our web page, to be honest with you, if we had the following to watch it, which we could do. But we would miss out on the community that's right. all these people yes and seeing you know dogs roll around and irish <laughs> whiskey baking in the sun <laughs> and the alien abduction insurance and yeah <laughs> but anyways um marianne dropped that link so check that out and uh we want to thank each and every one of you for coming out watching the show we will be back again next week 5 p.m eastern that's let's right. talk paranormal live Ta we might have some videos this coming week not sure yet I'm not back into the grind i'm still on vacation lori says that they would miss us yeah we miss you guys too this is too much fun timey says that's why i'm still here community that's right all right all right do you have anything else you would like to add just have a great week everybody have an awesome week. Find some great headlines. Yeah. Don't become them. Find them. There you go. There you <laughs> that's go. Good. That's good advice. Don't yeah. become the good headlines. What was that? He's rather see you than read about you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, folks. Hey, until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. Let us know if you like this video by hitting that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to see more videos from us in the future, Support our channel by hitting that subscribe button and dinging that bell so you get notified the next time there's a video from Panic D Video. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting.